And uh, now we move on to the band Bossy video. Yeah. This is one of the most ridiculous things I've heard of in recent memory. Yeah, this is a and real stupid one, but it, they we, wanna, we predicted it. They want to ban the word bossy because I guess when guys are doing what? Are, guys are cons How do they say it? Guys are considered leaders, but women are considered bossy for doing the same exact thing or something like that. Right? No, men are considered bullies for doing a certain thing, and then women are considered uh, bossy. Assertive. You know, there's positive words for a guy being a boss that, that if you consider him bossy, it's not so much a bully, but it's being um, assertive, being uh, you're an authority figure, everything. But now you take a girl. And you put her in the same position, and she becomes bitchy, uppity, bossy, things like that. Because the reality is, yeah, but that's not that. That's not just about being an assertive woman. That's because you want to say to the girl, "Stop being a dick." Right. But you can't. The name for a guy who's like that is to be called a dick. Right. right. Yeah, if you if you don't like your boss because he's being bossy, yeah, you'd be like, "Oh, that guy's a dick. What an asshole. What a fucking shithead." Uh, but you, uh, apparently. You can't say that about a woman, boss? We, for some reason, we just don't. But that's the thing. Yeah. The word bossy is a nice way of going, you're a scumbag or you're an ass. That's because well, you would say about a boss, oh, my boss is a shithead. Yeah. But if it's a woman, you're like, ah, oh, she's so bossy. Yeah. Or, yeah, but, you want to say twat. You want to say the same oh, words. Yes. You certainly do. And Every it goes day. to our point. This is why you can't ban words, because now this is like the second level of words they're now trying to ban. Right. I think everyone is in some weird understanding that you can't call a woman a, the C word. You can't yeah. call her a bitch. You can't call her a twat. So we're on the second tier we're, so, where it's now that we're banning? <laughs> yeah, because they want to just reprogram. They just want the human brain reprogrammed. That's They're retarded. Always gonna, oh, oops. You're always going to think of other words. So, yeah. okay, you ban these words. Well, I'll come up with other words to yeah. make my point. And this is exactly what's happening here. It's the second tier of words they're trying to, you know, uh, uh, ban. Precisely. Who is it? Cheryl Sandberg? Who's Cheryl Sandberg? Is she a boss? Oh, she. Well, she's very young. Oh, wait. <laughs> and Beyonce uh, wants in on this? Fuck Beyonce. Doesn't she have the N-word all over her music? Yeah, yeah, exactly. How about she talks to her husband about? about his songs? Right. Like, I don't want any words banned, but if, if, if you're... If your songs have the N-word all over the place, oh boy. Isn't yeah. that shouldn't you start there? You'd think. What are you doing? Cuz it's bad for business. So right now that N-word is hot in these songs, man. Whew. I don't know if Beyonce has any N-word songs, not to say she won't, but her no. husband does. And that's oh, what her she, husband that, has a few. Worry about your husband yeah. saying nigger in his songs and not people saying the word bossy. That's what you should worry. Why doesn't she go on a campaign against that word and hold up her husband's records? He says yeah. it with an A though. The exact, so did Southern Plantation owners. Oh, I love that argument. Well, it's the same thing, you know. It's you know, I, I say nigger. It's it's right. not. It's it's the same thing. I think so. You're saying it. You're saying it. So I, here's the official video. Yeah. Okay. This is Ban Bossy. Take one. Shut up. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Pushy. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Bossy. 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 When I was growing up, I was called bossy. I think the word bossy is just a swasher. Being labeled something matters. By middle school, girls are less interested in leadership than boys. And that's because they worry about being called bossy. We need oh. to tell them it's okay to be ambitious. We need to help oh them. Oh my be God, I want to pee. Words matter. Oh. It's just bad, the word bossy. And encourage girls to lead. To be strong and be ambitious. Listen to your own voice. There are no limits. There should be you. You can change the world. Let's ban bossy. Be brave. Be you. Ban bossy. Oh my God. How do you Jane sleep Lynch? at night? To ban You're a comic, bossy. Jane Lynch. Yeah. Jimmy Johnson, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only guy that you get. Yeah. Take the pledge at banbossy.com. I'm going to take the pledge. Yeah. Ban bossy. You know, you miss Beyonce. What? She said, I'm not bossy. I'm a boss. Cool. Damn. That's that very mean? clever. Very clever. I come up with other words. Uh, I wouldn't know this, but Granted Philly says, doesn't Jay-Z refer to Beyonce as boss bitch in all his songs? Yeah. Does he? Uh, I'm sure he has. All right, but well, that's not bossy. Well, it's she's not, not, not bossy, bossy bitch. Not bossy bitch. Right. Oh, okay. What about using it in uh, terms of uh, fat girl, and you call it bossy like the cow? 
Remember Bossy? <laughs> so you go, hey, Bossy, is that acceptable? Was that Jimmy Johnson? What, fat. Yeah. What is he doing? What is, it, was who, the, it was the only guy that could Who get. approached Jimmy Johnson <laughs> and like, hey, dude, you want to... <laughs> you want to be part of the band Bossy band campaign? Band Bossy? You'd be like, what? Oh, is, my what is God. It? He probably <laughs> thought it was really going to take off, and then he realized, oh... I think it's extremely dangerous to ban words. I think it's ridiculous. Just saying ban a word. And is, what? Is uh, I guess crazy. women don't want to be leaders because they're considered bossy? Oh, it's just nonsense. Leaders, leaders don't give a fuck what you call them. Yeah. Mel Karma is an, is an amazing boss, a tough he boss. He was bossy. He didn't give a crap what you called them. He was bossy. Because he was a true leader. Mm -hmm. If you're a true leader, you don't care. No. You got the ambition, and you're just going to, you know, work hard at it. You know what I think these women should do? Hmm. Get over it. Oh, shit. I, I, ah, damn. They certainly are Get pitching a fit, it. aren't they? Damn. Pitching a fit. Uh, <laughs> uh, just get over it, bossy. You bossy girls. Pitching a fit. Pitching a fit. Fan bossy. Honey, honey, squeezing her tit. Get over it. She's bossy. Just the inconsistency, though, in the in these people's like the way they're preaching the morality to people. Don't say this. Do, it. and she's married to a guy that drops that word constantly, yeah. or, this, or or at least used well, to. Uh -huh. I got I got all the uh, the facts on this thing. So it's Sheryl Sandberg. She launched launched the band Bossy campaign to empower girls to lead. Future leaders don't care. They just don't care what you no. call them. Their ambition, they laugh at you at all the words you call them. They don't care. Uh, can banning can banning one schoolyard word really change the world? Cheryl Sandberg says yes. Sandberg, the chief operating officer of Facebook and author of the best-selling book Lean In, is spearheading the launch of a campaign today to ban the word bossy, arguing the negative put-down stops girls from pursuing leadership roles. Does it? It's just such idiocy. It's such you're just lying idiocy. Yeah, then that league. Then they're not made out to be a, a boss. No. We know that by middle school, more boys and girls want to lead. Sandberg said. So, so that's because they're being called bossy. No, yeah. that's not. How are you making that connection? I don't know why more boy, boys want to lead than girls. I have no idea. But it's not because you're calling girls bossy. No, it's the way of the world. It's been that way. It's a. Uh... It's kind of an ingrained thing. Because leading is a dominant thing. Right. I'm not saying it's right, but males are more, I think, it's through a nature, thing, inclined a to be dominant. Thing, right. Yeah. But, but it's it has been changing over the yes. last uh, decade or so. Yeah. But if you want to take one of those leadership roles and be assertive and all the other words, then you got to put up with the fact that people are going to call you bossy. You can't just ban the word and make the actual thought go away. The idea of it, the the the... the sentiment that certain people have towards an assertive woman it doesn't go away with just the word being banned that's the thing like you could ban the n-word there's still gonna be people that think poorly right. of black people there's right. still gonna be you know you could ban the word retard there's right. still gonna be people that think like oh you're incapable of doing anything like it, it, the idea is still there right uh let's see where were we here yeah i looked up to listen to your fine oh, point hi there. And if you ask girls why they don't want to lead, whether it's uh, the school project all the way on to running for office, they don't want to be called bossy and they don't want to be disliked. Uh huh. But guy, guys are disliked for being yes. a leader. What are you talking about? Now, my sister Dawnie, she is a boss. Right. She's a boss. And she says, what the fuck does ban boss even mean? Dumbest, most useless campaign ever. And this is coming from my uppity bitch sister mm. who uh, fires people. Mm. She's a boss. Mm -hmm. She's very bossy. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I can imagine being married to that. <laughs> fuck, man. But she doesn't Shit. care if people call her bossy. No, she probably loves it. She doesn't care. Yeah. There were some big names in that video we just saw. Yeah. Oh, all successful women. Really su successful women. They're just showing how they're just dumb and they're not intelligent. It's they should show stupid. failures. I would have been something, but someone called me bossy. Right. You don't yes. show success. The ex, uh, <laughs> True. you know, Condole what, what, Condole Rice, Condoleezza Secretary Rice. Rice. That was uh, her. All these powerful, bright women. Yeah. Who have who become leaders? The head of fate show dummies who never made it. Yeah, 
Oh, that's right. They don't. Their opinion doesn't weigh as much. Get the not. celebrities. Get the women who. Ugh, right. This is such nonsense. The success stories. I got such a big Here. success. <laughs> wow, the, thank you. A lot of women calling in. We got Michelle in Louisiana. Go ahead, Michelle. I like to call them bitches. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> the bitches that'll get you. What's up, Michelle? Hi, I'm a boss. Hey, settle I'm down. A Easy, cookie. <laughs> Fucking uppity bitch. If the word bossy was going to prevent me from being a boss, then I would never make it. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Ridiculous, you yeah. If you can't face the word bossy, then you don't deserve to be a boss. I agree. I agree. And there's yeah. a lot of supposed uh, uh, intelligent women involved with this campaign. This is one woman trying to coddle the people that are afraid of one word. If you're afraid of the word, then don't be a boss. All right. Stop boss. emasculating us. Jesus. We said this was going to happen years ago. Yeah. When they started with the, uh, I guess it was the N-word. N-word. We said every N-word. group is going to want to have their word. And Our most of the groups word. now have their word. And now we're starting to see the next stage, which is the secondary words. Because people will always think yeah. of an insult to call someone they don't like or don't understand. You know, it's just human nature. Anymore. Huh? I'm going to say transgendered. Yeah, but tranny. it's like Bailey J says tranny. Yeah. How is tranny derogatory? How is it? I don't understand how it's derogatory. It doesn't mean anything terrible. It doesn't mean it. it, well, it means never, something terrific, actually. And it was never used as a slur. Huh? I don't think it's like, oh, yeah, tranny. I think the ultimate goal is that uh, you, you shouldn't point out individuality. Yeah. Mm. Everyone is exactly the same. Yes, we have to be the same. I think that's the ultimate goal of this whole thing. Yeah. Uh, thank you, whoever uh, Michelle, I think it was, right? Let me, Fake empowerment. Let's go to Philly and talk to is. Amber. We're, we're talking to the broads today. Hey! Hey, broad! <laughs> Good morning, guys. How Ooh, are you? The deep, manly voice you have, I you like bossy it. girl. What's up, Amber? Go ahead, sir. Good morning, Jimmy. Hello. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, I think it's fucking retarded. Oh, oh hey, watch that R word. You can't say retarded though. Yeah. You're gonna call me a bitch. You're gonna call me a kind. You're gonna call me a spot. All right. You're gonna call me bossy. It just means that you don't have the balls to stand up to me. Well, Whoa. Sorry. Yeah, good for you. Uh, good for Amber. Good for you. It's exactly right. Yeah. I think I think the women, I think the women can handle themselves. By the way, when you start yeah. coddling and, and 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 banning words, that means that group can't. They're weak and they can't handle it, right? That's so, exactly what it is. Someone just it sounds oh, like this Peter, bitch is oh, on her period. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are hilarious. I was always the leader of my school project. I didn't care. Right. Yeah, true mm. leaders don't give a crap about what is said about them. No. Exactly. Right, Can you imagine Mel Karmazin, like, crying in his office because <laughs> some of his employees called him bad names? Bossy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Please. He didn't have time for that. Bad bossy. He was too busy making the stockholders more money. He, he didn't care. That was his jab. Thanks, Amber. Thank you, guys. This really is one of the stupidest things I've, I've heard of in, in many, many years. Many, many years. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sandberg said these attitudes begin early and continue in adulthood. We call girls bossy on the playground, Sandberg said. We call them too aggressive or other B words in the workplace. B word. They're bossy B-word. as little girls, and then they're aggressive, political, shrill, too ambitious as women. So those words have to go. Yeah. Those words have to go now. They Those don't. are not, you oh, you just read the next generation to go. Right. Shrill. Ah, you could say ambitious. Right. But don't say overly ambitious. Right. And don't say too ambitious. <laughs> People. Look, I, I told you, my, my son's school, they used to have a leadership program and someone complained. So now they're just hosts. <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> so they're not even Host. training uh, the youngsters what a leader even means. It's like a cocktail Cause, cause party. Because some kids get upset by that. It's not even the kids because they're too young to even understand. No, they don't it's know. the parents. So they're not even training them to be leaders. They in, don't know in, nothing. In the classroom. Yeah, we used to call it a uh, leader leader of the day, but uh, they said it. Somebody complains. Who now. complained? That, no, you're you're not allowed to say who complained. Leader is... So now it's host for the day. They're hosting. <laughs> they fucking come out in a smoking jacket <laughs> with a fucking martini glass. How so, you doing? I'm the host. So we're not even training future leaders. No. No, a leader, uh, somebody that... Uh, 
is assertive. That's a bad thing, I guess. Mm. Sandberg's organization, Lean, is Lean In, is joining forces with former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice Lean in. and Girl Scouts USA CEO Anna Maria Chavez to launch a public service campaign called Band Bossy. The BandBossy.com website gives tips for parents. Oh, my oh, God. Let's that. go there. Oh, Kids, teachers, me. and others about how to encourage young female leaders. The goal of the Band Bossy campaign is to help girls and women feel more confident and comfortable as leaders. Oh, yeah. I was called bossy when I was in the ninth grade, Sandberg recalled. She's the she's the broad from Facebook. She's the CEO of Facebook, so I guess it was a good thing. My teacher took oh. my best friend Mindy aside and she said, You shouldn't be friends with Charles. She's bossy. And that hurt. It hurt. did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> The word, the word bossy is not the problem. The problem is the teacher was basically saying your friend's a dick. Right. Don't be friends dick. with her. Which was stupid to say. Yeah. It's mm. not the word bossy is not the problem. No. Mm -hmm. What could we do? Is there anything on that website that tells us what we can do to help? <laughs> I want to help. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> it's so stupid. If you look at the world, uh, women do 66% of the work in the world. Women produce 50% of the food. Women make 10% of the income, and women own 1% of the property. And they buy 100% uh -huh. of the tampons. <laughs> <laughs> and they get 100% of the divorce settlements. <laughs> yeah. And they put out 100% of the babies. Yeah. We are 50% of the population. We are 5% of the Fortune 500 CEO, Sandberg said. We are 17% of the board seats. We are 19% in Congress. That's not enough for 50% of the population. We live in a world that is overwhelmingly run and owned by men. But those numbers have gotten better. And it'll continue to get better. And even so. And I don't think like, it's going to get uh, drastically better because you banned the word bossy. That's just not, it's just not. It's, it, it's not going to work out that way. How about you, you do bring up something about 50% uh, of the population getting 90% uh, of the divorce settlement. You know, if you want to fucking play by those rules, mm -hmm. some percentages. How about 50% um, of the population? How many um, people are, are, are dying in, in wars? Uh, what percentage of women to men is that? How about you jump on in? Come on in for the big win. Yeah. Yeah, there's other percentages that you guys are uh, not not up to par with men that you're probably very happy you're not. So, yeah. What do we got on the website? What do you want? Leadership tips for girls, parents, teachers, managers, troop leaders? Oh, boy. Oh, this is... Go for fucking girls. I want to hear. <sighs> What should we do? Ten tips to help girls flex their leadership muscles. Teach us. Go to that one. Help us help you. Right. Go to the yeah. right side of that page. What the hell does that even mean? Oh, Jesus. God. Oh, look at all. Uh, who's going to read all this? Speak up in class. Stop oh. apologizing before you speak. Everyone does that, by the way. Yeah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. I'll win every time. Okay, ask for help. Don't do everyone else's work. Who does Speak that? up in friendship. Trust your own inner voice. Ugh, These are good tips for kids in general. Right. Change the world. Remember, it's not always easy to speak up, but it's worth it. Is that being bossy? Practice. Practice what? There you go. What dumb rules. <laughs> Oh, what a boring website this is. Oh, boy. We should put some porn on that website. <laughs> That'd get it. Damn. What are we doing? I don't know. The f for Beyonce to sit there and say, and, and, and me, I'm looking up Jay-Z songs, Bitches and Sisters. Exactly. Why don't you go, and, and the guy you sleep with every night who put a baby in you, why don't you obsess over hit? Why don't you bring your husband out and say, my husband is no longer going to say this word. He's right. no longer going to sing this song, this song, and this song, because it says niggas, it says bitches, and I feel that's a bad... Come on. i bring in that guap. But you know what? It's, it's, like, it's just nonsense. <clears throat> yeah. no, utter nonsense. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just a fucking society of douchebags that have nothing better to do. We need a real good fucking crisis in this country again. We are. I mean, we need a fucking... 9-11 style Whoa. fucking crisis slow down because when that happened it really jolted people back to reality to where you 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 prioritized again we our priorities are so fucking out of whack right now 
to even be concentrating on this is an embarrass a global embarrassment when things uh, important things are happening around the globe um and 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 we're worried about the word bossy and that's what's ma making the news mm. fucking you, americans are, need a smack in the face every few fucking years we are pussified we are a bunch of fucking fags sorry let's say hi <laughs> to lisa in new orleans nolens Lisa, what's up? You could drink right there in the airport. Right here in the airport. In the airport. Right here in the airport. <laughs> you want a hurricane? <laughs> Tom is uh, one of the greatest characters of all time. Uh, not a character. He's, he's a real guy. Go ahead, Lisa. This shit's making women look really stupid. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think it makes you guys look extremely weak, like you can't take care of yourselves. I agree, and I believe that them telling people to ban the word bossy in itself is quite bossy. Yeah, you're you're being bossy by saying this is what we want. Yeah, true. Yes. See? Women are stronger than this, and I'm disappointed that a woman in a leadership position would say something so fucking stupid. Because her message about be assertive... Be strong. Like, those are great messages. Of course. And, and don't let anybody discourage you because you're a girl. Like, th yeah. those are really smart messages to give a young girl. Mm. But the I, work, I work in corporate America. I can be assertive and, le and I have leadership qualities and I can do that without being... No, I don't like her already. Exactly. You're pushy. Mm. Right. Listen to her. But do you show the <laughs> but do you show the cleavage? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Donna wants to know. More importantly, right? Do you go to work with a little cleavage? Right. And then us guys are not allowed to look. Yeah. Or we'll, or we'll be called down to the HR office. Do you mind a little smack on the fanny as you're walking right, in between little, cubicles? A little pinch. Only right. Don't mind, only if you don't mind when I smack you back on the ass. Ooh, oh, yeah. there you go. Now you're well, talking. Smack now over. you're chalking. <laughs> Jimmy, when are you going to come do a show in New Orleans? No, oh, Jimmy. I've never done a show in New Orleans. I did a college with Pete Corielli and Louis Ramey probably oh. in 2000 or 1998. Yeah. Um, that's the famous lap dance, and I yes, shot in my pants story. You fucking came in I've your I've never pants. done a full set in New Orleans. I would love to go down mm. there in New Orleans. I really oh do. God. We need you. We need you, and Jew. I'll even have, I'll get a lap dance with you if you come to the show. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at that. broad in the lap dance. She's like, a, she's a leader too. She certainly is. She'll take it. She'll, she'll be like, hey, put your money away. I got it. She'll let that hair down after she leaves the office. Look though, out and unbutton one more yeah. button. She can right? bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan, and never, never, never let you forget you're a man. And she's the woman, mm. Anjali. Well, exactly, Jimmy. <laughs> 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 All right, Lisa. Thank you for your uh, two cents on the uh, the yeah. band bossy thing. Her two cents. Of course, a man, it would have been 12 cents. Yeah. And spent wisely. Money. Exactly. She's just going to buy perfumes of and hats. Stupid things. But you got some big... Big, intelligent women involved with this. Yeah, what are they doing? If they, they look ridiculous. And then Jimmy Johnson. What are you Jimmy doing? Jimmy Johnson, just fucking. <laughs> what are you doing? Just get in your car and drive fast and shut up. <laughs> the only guy. Oh boy. I started after they showed Jimmy Johnson. Like, okay, there's got to be other guys involved with this. He was the only one. No, the only guy you they could get. You don't want to be the only guy. <sighs> Boss is not good. Not cool, guys. Not cool. Not cool. Yeah. But then again, maybe, who knows what he said. Like they, they they may have said, like, hey, we're doing this whole band bossy thing campaign to empower young women. Yeah. And they may have just stressed that it was about empowering young women. Right. Because he didn't say band bossy. No. So he might have said, well, I think young girls should be told to be assertive. And, and then they just put that in like put he's a big band like, bossy. Like Which is answer. fine. Yeah. But, but it's he, the only guy. He tweeted hashtag band bossy. Fuck him, then. Uh, 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 Keep driving in a circle. Uh, <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it's just <laughs> because what the, because the message of what they're saying is being clouded by the garbage language police. Yeah. Like their message of be stronger and be assertive and don't let anybody discourage you. Uh -huh. That's really smart, right? And it's sure. important and it's good and you know. But they just go too far. Then now it's about the word bossy. Mm -hmm. That's not the problem, dummies. It's the underlying message of women not being. <sighs> words matter. Oh, yeah. Words matter. Not really. There's words some. Hurt. There's some good tips on this website for children in general. 
But to say ban the word bossy, that's that's right. where it's that's ridiculous. Little over the top. A little, way over the top. Little. You know why words don't matter as much? Because it's all in how you use them. If words mattered that much, if they were that important, yeah. then there's not one rapper that would say nigga in his songs. Or not one rapper right. would say bitch. Not, yeah. not one female celebrity would say bitch. I mean, if it was that important. Women in rap songs are fucking just degraded. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. So uh, why doesn't anyone say anything about that? They just don't. No one does. The whole industry is like, they come out against all kinds of things, but never that. Well, well you go ridiculous. Well, you go after the easier stuff. Well, that's true. That's what happens. It's way easier to go after this than Thanks, rap lyrics. You know, calling a woman a bitch or a how. It's money to be made. Yep. Yeah. And also, wow. rappers though, rappers don't care. Like no. rappers, their audience is honest. They like what they're doing. Right. And they're just going to say what they right. want, and they don't Cares. give a fuck right. if you like it. And that's why I like rappers. Like, I love the fact that Nicki Minaj put that song out. Good. Don't let anybody was, tell you what to say. Hmm. There's way more influence when you listen to songs like that than trying to ban Bossy. Much yeah. more. Way more. That is way more of a problem if you're looking at this stuff as problems. Mm -hmm. All right.